let's talk about losing weight on the Pacific Crest Trail. So I would hope that someone hiking the Pacific Crest Trail would want to do it for more than simply losing weight. However, I'm a chubby guy. I started hiking my through hike, the Pacific Crest Trail, at 240 pounds. That was when I was at 30% BMI, which is actually right on the line for obesity. And so I was definitely overweight. Um, I still am technically overweight. And by technically, I mean non-technically too. I'm just overweight. However, you can lose a lot of weight hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. I have hiked 45 days and have lost 40 pounds. Um, now, losing weight on the trail does depend a lot upon um, first your gender, if you're male or female, and then of course how much you weigh, and then what you're eating. So males and females uh, are very different when it comes to uh, losing weight on a through hike. Males already have uh, quite a bit of muscle generally, um, and so what happens with a lot of uh, female hikers is they'll still lose some weight, but they actually uh, gain a lot of muscle um, from through hiking, and so they don't lose nearly as much weight as guys. Um, guys, on the other hand, also generally tend to burn a bit more calories, and so um, guys are going to be losing a lot more weight, and so you can lose a lot of weight either way if you're male or female. Um, I think it depends on how much you weigh to begin with. The other thing is what you're eating. Now, through hiking, when you're hiking 20 miles or even 15 miles or 25 miles or 30 miles in a day, you're burning a ton of calories, thousands and thousands. I would say well over three, four, five thousand calories, somewhere in there, maybe, maybe more. Um, and it's hard to carry a lot of weight um, in food. And so usually people that I've hiked with haven't carried more than two, three thousand calories of food a day. Um, I think probably the average would be like in between two thousand and, and three thousand calories somewhere. Um, and so you're burning a lot of calories. Now this is good and bad. This is good because you're losing a lot of weight. The bad thing is is you're not getting the nutrition your body needs for its muscles and to work as best as it can. Um, and so like a huge workout person like um, some like heavy lifter is going to be burning a ton of calories every day but they eat a massive amount of calories and what that allows them to do is that allows them to really gain a lot of muscle. Whereas through hikers kind of end up having a similar body no matter what. Guys lose a lot of their upper body strength, a lot of their upper body muscles, um, as well as a lot of fat. Um, and so they end up getting leaner muscles pretty much everywhere and even in their legs. Um, girls bulk up a little bit more in their legs and don't lose quite as much weight, but they still do lose weight. Um, and so there's a lot of things to consider if your partial reasons for hiking the Pacific Crest Trail or other through hikes is because you want to lose some weight. Um, now, obviously, when you stop hiking, you can easily gain it all back. When your body goes from burning 5,000 calories in a day back down to 2,000 or, or 3,000, um, or maybe you're burning 6,000 calories a day while you're through hiking, you know, it's a huge difference. And so I think no matter what, you're going to gain back some of that weight. Um, that's natural, but it's up to you from that point as to whether or not you're going to keep it off. So, you know, I've lost nearly 40 pounds, um, probably 35 so far. I'm going to be hiking for at least another two or three months. And so I'm hoping to get down into a healthy weight range for my body, um, for my height and age, which is like... I think 180, 185, something like that. And so um, I'm right around 200 right now. So it would be great if I lost another 20 to 30 pounds. Um, and then when I come back home, you know, I might gain back 10 pounds. But then from there, I can really, I need to really do all I can to keep it off at that point. 
So I would, I would say that through hiking is a good way to get some initial weight off, to get active, to get, uh, you know, physical. But then once you come home, it's your job to then, uh, exercise a lot, you know, keep your leg muscles up by hiking or running or going to the gym and to cut way down on your calorie intake if you're, you know, eating 3,500 calories every day. Because as a through hiker, the other great thing about losing weight on, on a through hike is I can eat whatever I want. I can just, I can eat whatever I want and I'll still lose weight. So that's pretty awesome too. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about uh, weight loss on the uh, Pacific Crest Trail or through hiking. Um, if you have any questions about this topic or other topics, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to do so. Um, subscribe, share it with your friends or family. Thanks guys. <laughs>